Do, 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 do. Oh, hey guys. Hey, so listen, Halloween, Thanksgiving, they are over. And uh, you know, this pumpkin's been sitting on my curb for two weeks now. Brenton was supposed to take it and feed it to his pigs and the rest of the animals, and he's yet to do that. So my question is, should we build a pumpkin launcher or a pumpkin chunker or a pumpkin slingshot or something and go hum it at him? No, I'm just kidding. I am gonna give him this. This is going to go and be fed to the animals. But my point is, Halloween, Thanksgiving, they're over. And where I have never participated in Vlogmas, I am gonna let you guys know that this year I'm gonna be participating in Vlogmas. That means much more content coming at you guys for the month of December. So make sure you let me know. Are you guys excited about that? I'm not gonna commit to you that I'm gonna put out a video every single day, but there will be much more content coming out on the Christopher Scott channel in the month of December. So if you were excited, make sure you drop a comment and let me know that. If you're not, well, then I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I try really hard at this stuff. I mean, I'm like a mediocre YouTuber at this point so anyway let me know in the comments what you guys think a lot more content coming out but with all of that let's get into today's video hey what is going on everybody well we are back for another video today and before we get into this video I wanted to talk about one thing real quick do you want a chance to win a GoPro well I am giving away a GoPro along with Fnatic and if you want an entry to win this GoPro all you have to do is it's simple as this you need to subscribe to my channel you need to subscribe to Fnatic's channel you need to follow us both on Instagram if you have Instagram and if you do not then that's okay just no take that in the comments and then just simply comment below and uh, just let me know what you would do with the GoPro and once you've done that that's it it's all you have to do and you can win a GoPro so make sure you do that all right well for today's video what we're gonna be focusing on is this new tank with the waterfall in it that I built in the last couple of videos and if you haven't seen that yet I would highly recommend that you go ahead and do that and I will go ahead and link that above in a card make sure you go watch it if you haven't but I'll show you that tank today what we're gonna be doing is adding some additional plants as well as adding fish to this aquarium I will tell you these fish will not be a permanent occupant in this tank I just need to get something in it to keep the bio load up and those will actually be moved into another tank at a later date because I wanted these fish anyway. But the number one commented animal on the video was fire belly toads. And honestly, it's been hard to find any fire belly toads locally at the store. So I'm gonna either have to order some or I'm gonna have to get some at a reptile show coming up very soon. And uh, yeah, but those will be coming very soon in this tank. However, for today, we're gonna go ahead and add some new plants as well as add some fish to this tank. So let's get into this today. All right, guys. Well, this is the tank that we're going to be focusing on today. And if you have not seen the build on this, make sure you go watch that video because I this I will tell you now this is by far my favorite tank at this point but check this thing out absolutely an epic tank I think but we're gonna be focusing on this because we're gonna be doing a couple of things and I've actually done some stuff and one of the things is is right there in that little piece of wood I've actually added some pillow moss there as well as some more pillow moss right back there and some up here and here so what we're gonna be adding to this today number one is, is I want some floating plants in here I think they would look really good good and we're gonna steal some of those from a different tank and in fact let's go ahead and do that now all right guys we're gonna go ahead and steal some of this frog bit from this fallen tree scape look at this thing too these Amazon swords and these plants are just growing like crazy in here this tank is doing so well look at that big old blue betta right there but everything in here is looking great but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking some of this frog bit as you can see this stuff is growing like crazy and we're gonna be putting some of that in that other tank so I'm gonna gather some of this up real quick and I will meet you back at that other tank actually real quick before we go in there check this out there is the little anole and I just fed that guy as well as the little toad right there but they just got a nice amount of crickets so they're just hanging out in here and somebody asked me about a UVB and a UVA light and stuff there is actually light system on this that comes on a certain amount of time during the day so these guys are really good now let's get in here and get this frog bit in this tank so what we have is a little piece of pillow moss and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and just dip it into the tank and get it nice and wet and yeah some dirt's going to fall off of it which is fine but get it nice and wet and the soil underneath will get nice and wet 
then I can just come in here and I can place this. And I'm actually going to place a little more on top of this driftwood right here just to fill this spot in. But you just literally just take it and push it in and this stuff will grow fantastic. As you can see, there's new growth on this piece up here. And it doesn't have to be overly damp because this piece right here is actually sucking water up in it and it's getting water into these. You can kind of see the fact that it has wetness to it. But that right there will stay completely wet and will actually have some new growth on it in about... 24 48 hours now i want to go ahead and add a little bit more somewhere else and i'm not really sure where just yet i'm thinking maybe right back here and it's you know just a little bit really so what i'm going to do with this piece is do the exact same thing just drop it in here get it nice and wet and then we're just gonna stick it right back up in here Get that pushed right up in there real good. Put some there and maybe some right up in here. We have it all up here on the top of the tree. We have it up here on the rocks up here. And this stuff is really, it's, it's really actually growing very well. All right, well with that, that takes care of our moss addition. So now let's go ahead and add this frog bit. So I got a good amount of frog bit here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and dump this stuff in, get it all out and then we will situate this. We just want to get it flipped over where the root systems are in the water. I definitely think that the floating plants give it a nice little something extra. That's really good. I'm glad we added those. And then we want to add just another plant, but this one's going to be an aquatic plant. Also, this little piece of this pink vein plant actually broke off and it had been floating in the water for a couple of days and it's surviving and growing actually completely submerged. So I looked it up and it's not detrimental to the fish. So I'm going to leave that floating in there as well. But what we're going to do is we're gonna add one more plant. And what this plant is, is this is called a Coffeefolia anubius. And what's cool about it is, is that the stems are red, but this is like any other anubius, so it does have a rhizome, which means we cannot plant the rhizome. We'll just tuck this thing back up in, in here somehow. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where we can put this that'll look the best. I kinda wanna have it like right up here in the front, kind of. So let's kinda just stick it maybe right back here and what we can do is just hide the roots behind the rock but just like there i'm not sure exactly if i like that completely but we may have to move that at some other time but overall this tank is absolutely looking fantastic all right guys well let me know in the comments what you think about the plant additions i don't know that i want to add anything else and i'm not really sure how i feel about this anubius right here so looking at this view from right here if you have a better idea of where it could go just let me know in the comments uh i'm not really sure that i like having the greenery down there to be honest with you i kind of liked it without with the bare bottom and no plants down there but go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think if we should move it somewhere else i do however really really like the frog bit in here it really does give it a new kind of nice look so that's really nice now the only thing we have left to do is to add these fish now i will tell you <laughs> these aren't anything special I mean, uh, they're they're pretty basic, and um, yeah, I, let's just get into it so I can show you. But like I said, these will not stay in here permanently. They will go into a different tank, but for now, let's just go ahead and get them in here. We don't need to wait any longer. Let's, let's just do this. All right, guys. Well, little Max Robert here is going to help me put these in there, and here we go. And I just want you to know that these guys have been fully cup acclimated and the water that was in this cup is actually from this tank 100%. But there they go. And here we have it. So I have one addition to this tank I'm going to make to just kind of add to the aesthetic of the bottom of this tank. But we'll get that done now. So let me, uh, I actually have to go cook these. Yes, I have to cook them and you'll see why in just a minute. So what we're doing is we're actually boiling down some leaves we want to get all the tannins out we also want to kill anything that's on them and these are leaves from a fruit tree so i checked and made sure that these can actually go into an aquarium or safe for fish and they are so we want to make sure that we get them completely saturated as well as any parasites or anything like that that's on them dead as well as get all of these tannins out you notice the water's turning brown we don't want the tannins in the tank as well as we want these 
to fully sink once we put them in there. And if we boil them long enough, they will sink for us as soon as we put them in the tank. So we're going to continue doing this and then we're going to get those into the tank as some leaf litter. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and drop these leaves in here. Some nice leaf litter on the ground. All right, so we got the leaves in here now, but everything in this tank is looking fantastic. All right, I know that neon tetras aren't the coolest fish ever, but I mean, you gotta admit that this tank looks pretty good. But I want you guys to let me know, do you like the leaf litter on the bottom? Do you think that's a good addition? Do you like where the moss is and everything else? And then on the Anubias, let me know if you think we should move that somewhere else. But all in all, I think this tank is finished with the exception of adding these fire belly toads once I get some of these in, but I love the way Way this thing looks. I am honestly considering breaking down every tank in my fish room and fully scaping them out very similar to this. So let me know what you guys think about that too. Would you like to see that happen? And I'm talking about everything, like maybe a naturalistic looking tank for the guppies even. I mean, I don't even know what the natural area guppy comes from looks like, but I'll have to do some research and figure that out, but I'm totally down. with scaping some really cool tanks for all my fish. This is by far my favorite tank. So with all of that, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy this video today and hopefully you're enjoying the content and stay tuned because there's going to be some epic videos coming out very soon. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you put on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram if you haven't done that. You can also follow little Max Robert and Brenton and everybody else too. So thanks for coming along on this journey with us, guys. We are truly 100% from the bottom of our hearts grateful for each and every one of you. And hey, we will see you next time.